Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. Today we'll recap Major League Baseball and look ahead to today's games. WNBA Playoff Semifinal Game 2s. And we have Major League Soccer to talk about as well as we have a couple games in that sport tonight. Uh, we'll recap yesterday's action of the U.S. Open and then look ahead to today's action. Um... NFL inside linebacker rankings, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start with Major League Baseball. We'll go over the results of yesterday's game to look ahead to today's game. So I'm going to try to be quick because we don't have much time today. Um, Rockies over the Braves, 3-2. to two. Um, Guardians over the Orioles, 5 to 1 Reds over the Cardinals 5 to 1 Rays over the Marlins 7 to 2 A's over the Nationals 10 to 6 Blue Jays over the Cubs 5 to 3 Dodgers over the Mets 4 to 3 Mariners over the Tigers 9 to 3 Twins over the Red Sox 10 to 5 Astros over the Rangers 4 to 2 Royals over the White Sox 9 to 7 Pirates over the Brewers 4 to 2 Yankees over the Angels 7 to 4 Diamondbacks over the Phillies 12 to 3 and the Padres over the Giants 4 to 3 so best bet was a loser Actually, Rockies Braves was three to two, not three to one. That's my mistake. All right, looking ahead to today's game, it's two o'clock. You have the Astros at the Rangers. Oof, Christian Javier, Martin Perez. Look at the uh, his pin analytics numbers: 45, 49, five and fifty five, and I mean fifty point five. Um, Houston minus one thirty eight, Texas plus one eighteen over under seven F. Overs minus one fifteen, unders minus one five. Astros minus one half is plus one fourteen. Rangers plus one half is minus one thirty seven. Taking the Rangers to plus one eighteen. They're fifty point five to win according to ESPN analytics. Martin Perez is having a career year. Pirates Brewers Zach Thompson and Freddie Peralta. Um, that game for some reason is not posted. But if the total is anything less than. Eight and a half, I'll grab the over. 345, Padres, Giants, Joe Musgrove, and Alex Wood. Padres minus 142, Giants plus 120, over under seven and a half. Overs minus 114, others minus 108. Padres minus one half is plus 122, Giants plus one half is minus 146. I do like the over, because Alex Wood has not been good this year. Six o'clock, Orioles, Guardians, Jordan Lyles, and Tristan McKenzie. Guardians minus 172, Orioles plus 144, over under 8, overs minus 108, unders minus 112. Orioles plus 1F is minus 152, Guardians minus 1F is plus 128. I do like the over. I don't feel good about it. 630 Cardinals, Reds, Jose Quintana and Mike Miner. Cards minus 240, Reds plus 194, over under 9.5, overs minus 105, unders minus 115. Reds minus, or Cardinals minus 1F is minus 142, Reds plus 1F is plus 118. I like the over. Rays Marlins, Drew Rasmussen, we know he's going for Miami, and if the total's anything less than 7.5, I'll grab the over. 7 o'clock, you have the A's at the Nationals, James Caprillion and Annabelle Sanchez. A's minus 110, Nats plus, or minus 108, over under 8.5, over is minus 108, under is minus 112. A's minus 1.5 is plus 146, Nats plus 1.5 is minus 176, I'm going with the Nationals at minus 176, they're 54.6% to win. According to ESPN Analytics. Cubs, Blue Jays. We don't know who's going for the Cubs. And Mitch White is going for Toronto. Game's not posted. If the total is anything. Um, eight or less over is a no-brainer for me. Um, Dodgers, Mets, Tyler Anderson, Jacob DeGrom. Excellent pitching matchup. Mets minus 156, Dodgers plus 132, over under 6.5, overs minus 124, unders plus 102, Dodgers plus 1.5 is minus 178, Mets minus 1.5 is plus 146. You won't see the Dodgers as an underdog very often. We saw it a few weeks ago in Miami, or I'm sorry, uh, Milwaukee, and they lost outright. They should be an underdog. There's 62.3% chance that they lose this game. So the Mets, ESPN suggests that the Mets should be favored here. Um, but for this game, I'm going to go under three and a half. First half total runs at minus 118. Very sketchy, but I'll go with it. Mariners, Tigers, Marco Gonzalez, and Tyler Alexander. 
Mariners minus 158, Tigers plus 132, over under 8.5, overs minus 108, unders minus 112. Mariners minus 1.5 is plus 106, Tigers plus 1.5 is minus 128. Um, I'm going Tigers straight, plus 134, bold pick. But there's always a random upset every night. We saw it yesterday with the Reds. If the Reds can beat the Cardinals, then the Tigers can beat the Mariners. 7-20, you have the Rocks at the Braves, Ryan Feltner and Kyle Wright. Braves minus 320, Rocks plus 260, over under 8.5, overs minus 142, unders minus 106, Rocks plus 1.5 is plus 120, Braves minus 1.5 is minus 144. I like the over, don't feel good about it. Um, 7.30, Reds Twins, Michael Walker and Joe Ryan. Really good pitching matchup. Twins minus 134, Red Sox plus 116, over under 8, minus 110 each way. Red Sox plus 1.5 is minus 188, Twins minus 1.5 is plus 155. I like the under, don't feel good about it though. Um, 8 o'clock, Royals, White Sox, Chris Bubick, and Lance Lynn. White Sox minus 196, Royals plus 164, over under 8.5, minus 110 each way. Royals plus 1.5 is minus 137, White Sox minus 1.5 is plus 114. I do like the over a lot. Both these guys have stunk up the joint this year. 9.30, Yankees, Angels, Garrett Cole against Patrick Sandoval. Great spot for the Yankees to, uh, win a series here for the first time in a long time, um, Yanks minus 205, Angels plus 172, over under 7F, overs minus 114, unders minus 106. Yankees minus 1F is minus 114, A's plus, or Angels plus 1F is minus 105. Um, I think the Yankee offense found a little something last night, but I still like the under because I just don't trust it quite yet. Sandoval's actually been pretty good this year for LA, and... Garrett Cole's Garrett Cole, so under 7 is the pick. And Phillies Diamondbacks, Bailey Feltner and Tommy Henry. Phillies are minus 136, D-backs plus 116, over under 9, over is minus 114, under is minus 106. Phillies minus 1F is plus 112, D-backs plus 1F is minus 134. I do like the Diamondbacks straight up plus 116. They're 51.4% to win according to ESPN Analytics. Now move on to the WNBA playoffs. Um, we have a couple of games tonight to talk about. Semifinals, game twos. First up's the sun in the sky. Um, projection in my head would be sky five and a half. Or I'm sorry, that's not right. Uh, sky by three and a half. Would be the projection. That's four and a half and one sixty three and a half. Um, I like the over. I think there's gonna be some points scored in this game. And ten o'clock ESPN two. You have the storm and the aces. Um. So for this one, I project aces by eight, and it's five and a half and one sixty nine and a half. Um. I think there's going to be some defense played in this game. So I like under 169.5 at minus 112. And I do think the home teams will prevail tonight as well. Game threes will be held on Sunday, September 4th. All right, Major League Soccer. Um, We have three games tonight to preview and to talk about. Um... At, oh, no, it's more than three. I thought there was only a handful. Um, maybe there was a couple Wednesdays ago. Um, that's my mistake. 7 o'clock, Philadelphia Union hosting the Atlanta United FC. Um, Philly um, really has been an offensive machine. Winners of three in their last five. Atlanta, um, two wins in their last five. Um. We're going to try to do these picks uh, quickly here. Um, the Union are minus 160 at home. Atlanta plus 340. Draw plus 310. Um, Philly's first in the East. They're kind of running away with first place in the East. And they're three points back with LAFC for most points. Um, Atlanta's 
in the bottom tier of teams. Uh, three back of the postseason, so they still are like in the mix relatively. Because of Philly's offensive per hours, the pick here is over three and a half goals at plus one twenty. Um, seven thirty, Montreal Impact and New York Red Bulls. Um, Montreal winners of four of their last five. Red Bulls winners of two of their last three. Um, Montreal's minus one twenty five at home. Red Bulls plus three ten. Draw plus two forty. Um, I'm going under. Or let's go over two and a half goals at minus one twelve. I think that's a good value pick. Um, Columbus hosting Miami. Columbus one win their last five. Miami three in their last five. Um, these two teams are tied for sixth and seventh in the standings. Amazingly enough, um, Columbus is minus one forty five at home. Miami's plus three twenty. Draw plus ninety. I like the draw plus two ninety. Um, New England hosting Chicago. New England winless in their last three. Chicago winless in their last three. As well, the Revolution are two points back of the postseason. They're minus 135 at home. Chicago's 3-1 draw plus, plus 280. I'm going to go under 2.5 goals at plus 122. I think it's a low-scoring game. Um, Orlando hosting Seattle. Orlando winners of their last three. Seattle's winless in their last four. Um, Orlando's fifth in the East right now, Seattle, tenth in the West, and how many back of the postseason? Four. So, um, it's getting late early in Seattle, um, for the Sounders. Um, Orlando's plus 110 at home, Seattle's plus 230, draw plus 220. I like Orlando as a home favorite at plus money, plus 110. Toronto, LA Galaxy. Toronto, um, winners of three of their last five, but lost two of their last three, or winless of two of their last three. Galaxy winners of two of their last three. Um, Toronto, 10th in the East, and, uh, three back of Columbus, and, um, the Galaxy, um, they're in the seventh spot in the West right now. Um, Toronto's minus 105. Galaxy plus 230. Draw plus 270. I like the Galaxy on the road at plus 230 to win that game outright. 8 o'clock, you have NYCFC hosting DC United from Yankee Stadium, I assume. No, Red Bull Arena. What's going on at the stadium where they can't play? Um, NYCFC's only won one of their last five. DC United is winless in their last five. NYCFC minus 250, DC United 5 to 1, draw plus 270. For this game, I'm going to go over 3.5 goals at plus 126. NYCFC is due for like an offense burst game. 830, Houston hosting LAFC. Houston on uh, winless in their last five. LAFC losers of their last two. Um, Houston's at the bottom of the West. LAFC's at the top of the West. Houston plus 250 at home. LAFC minus 125 on the road. Draw plus 280. I'm going over three and a half goals plus 144 for LAFC's offense to get Grove in again. Um, Nashville is in Colorado. Nashville won their last two. Colorado's winless in their last four. Um, Colorado is five back of the last playoff spot. And Nashville's in fifth in the West right now. Um. Nashville's minus 160, Colorado plus 350, draw 3 to 1 for this one. I'm going to go under 2.5 at plus 126. 9 o'clock, Austin is hosting Portland. Um, Austin's rotated wins and um, lost and draw in their last five. And then Portland won their last game, but winless in their previous four before that. Austin is second in the West. Portland is eighth in the West, one back of LA Galaxy. Austin finally getting respect in the market. They're minus 140 at home. Portland plus 280, draw plus 310. Austin beat knocked off the Galaxy recently. They're for real. I think that um, Vegas is having a hard time accepting that, but I'm going over 3.5 goals at plus 112. And last but not least, 930 Salt Lake's hosting Minnesota. Salt Lake won win their last five. Minnesota's winners of three straight. 
Um, Minnesota's third in the West, and Salt Lake is sixth in the West. So this is a really good game. These two teams are five points apart in the standings. Um, Salt Lake's minus 120 at home. Minnesota's plus 260. Draw plus 270. I'm going with the draw plus 270 here. All right, now I'll move on to tennis. Um, we'll recap first round results for each of the men's and the women's in the U.S. Open. Second round begins today. So men's first. First round. Um, suspended match. Um, Jaume Munar and Roberto Carabellas Baina. So that is unfortunate. Um, Carbellas Baina has a um two one edge, but on the verge of finishing off Munar. Another suspended match was um Jason Kluber and Mikel Yanair. Um, Kluber up two one, but Yanair was up two one in set number four. Diego Schwartzman, your 14 seen over Jack Sock in a walkover in four sets. And now we have some finals. Um, two seed Rafael Nadal over Rinky Hijikata in four sets. 19 seed Denis Shapolov over Mark Husler in five sets. 22 seed Francis Tiafo over Marcos Giron in three sets. Alexei Paparin over Changsun Sang in three sets. 18, Hubert Hurkaz over Oscar Ott in three sets. Fabio Fognini over Aslan Karastev in five sets. Ilya Ivashka over Sam Query in four sets. Gales Brower over Adrian Manorino in three sets. Albert Ramos Vinolas over Norbert Gombos in three sets. Jensen Brooksby over Dusan Vlajevic in three sets and a walkover. 2016, Lorenzo Musetti over David Goffin in five sets. 11 seed Janik Sinner over Daniel Altmaier in five sets. 25 seed Borna Koric over Enzo Kuasad in five sets. 15 seed Marin Silic over Maximilian Martyr in three sets. Christopher Eubanks over Pedro Martinez in three sets. Federico Correa over Tyone Griekspor in three sets. 32 seed Miomar Krekmovic over Lerner Tyne in four sets. 28 seed Holger Rone over Peter Gojevic in three sets. 9 seed Audrey, or Andrei Rublev over Laszlo Dare in five sets. Sunwoo Kwan over Fernando Verdasco in four sets. 20 seed Dan Evans over Jerry Vesely in three sets. James Duckworth over Christopher O'Connell in four sets. John Isner over Federico Del Bonis in three sets. Three seed Carlos Alcaraz over Sebastian Baez in three sets and a walkover. Brandon Nakashima over Pavel Kotov in three sets. J.O. Sosa over Mackenzie McDonald in four sets. Richard Gosquet over Tyro Daniel in four sets. 17 seed Grigor Dimitrov over Steve Johnson in three sets. And 17 Cam Nori over Benoit Payer in three sets. All right, second round begins today. Um, 11 o'clock, you have 12 seed Pablo Carreno Busta and Alexander Bublik. We'll go with Carreno Busta in four sets. Christian Garin in 18 seed Alex Demeanor. We'll go Demeanor in three. Brandon Holt and Pedro Chassin will go with Chassin in four. Corentin Motet over tw- or and 21 seed Boltek Van de Zechulp will go with um, Van de Zechulp in four sets. 12 o'clock, Andy Murray and Emilio Nava will go Andy Murray in three. 12 15, Hugo Greener and 13 seed Matteo Berrettini will go Berrettini in four. 130, 23 say Nick Kyragos and Benjamin Bonds. We go Kyragos in three. Tim Van Richeven and 5 seed Casper Rudd will go Rudd in three. 215, Alejandro Tobilo and JJ Wolf will go Tobilo in four. Alejandro Davovich, 
Fokina and Marton Fuskovitz. We'll go Fuskovitz in three. Nine, 2019, Tommy Paul and Sebastian Corda. We'll go Tommy Paul in four. Daniel Galan and Jordan Thompson. We'll go Jordan Thompson in four. Nuno Borges and Yibing Wu. We'll go Borges in five. I think that's going to be a good match at 3.30. Five o'clock, we have... 2017, Karen Kaknevov and Thiago Montiero go Kaknevov in three. Seven o'clock, Jack Draper in six seed. Felix Augur Asalame will go with Asalame in three. And one seed, Daniel Mavedev and Arthur Rindernak will go Mavedev in three. Women's will recap yesterday and look ahead to today. Um, suspended match between um, Peyton Stearns and 2018, Ekaterina Alexandrova. Um, Alexandrova was on the verge of defeating Stearns in three sets. Now actual results. 19 seed Daniel Collins over Naomi Ahsoka in two sets. 28 seed or 26 seed Victoria as a rank over Ashlyn Kruger in three sets. Taylor, or I'm sorry, uh, Katarina Siniakova over Taylor Towson in three sets. Um... Julie Niemeyer over Sophia Kennan in two sets. How about this? Elise Cornette upsets 11 seed Emma Raducanu in two sets. So I thought about picking Raducanu in the women's side. Um, Marta Kostiuk over Meyer Sheriff in two sets. Christina Busca over Katja Juvon in two sets. Amanda Anisimova, your 24 seed over Yulia Putinseva in two sets. Arena Begu over 32 seed Elise Mertens in three sets, so good thing I didn't pick Elise Mertens either. Petra Martic over Vervara Gracheva in two sets. Yui Yuan over Jamie Forlis in two sets. Allison Van Utevic over Venus Williams in two sets. Lauren Davis over Lucia Bronzetti in three sets and a walkover. 13 seed Belinda Benchik over Andrea Petrovic in three sets. 4 seed Polo Bedosa over Lesia Sarenko in three sets. Alexandra Sasnovic over Elisabetta Cocoretto in two sets. Clara Burrell over 25 seed Elena Rabinka in two sets. Anastasia Potsovova over Claire Liu in two sets. Anelia Kalanina over Bernarda Para in two sets. 21 seed Petra Kivitova over Erica Andriva in two sets. Solane Stevens over Greet Minnen in three sets. 6 seed Arena Sablanka over Katherine Harrison in two sets. Linda Fruvitova over Zinyu Wong in two sets. 22 seed Carolina Pliskova or Magda Lynette in three sets. Serena Seresta over Laura Sigmund in two sets. Quinn Wen Zhang over 16 seed Jelena or Jelena Astapenko in three sets. Marie Buskova over Linda Niskova in two sets. 19 seed Gabrine Muscruva over Clara Towson in two sets. One seed Iga Swiatek over Jasmine Paolini in two sets. Eight seed Jessica Bagula over Victoria Golubic in two sets. Kaya Kanepi over Teresa Martinkova in two sets. And that's it among the women from yesterday. So t today, second round begins. Um, 11 o'clock, you have five seed Ans Jabor and Elizabeth Mandique. We'll go Ans Jabor in two. 31 seed Shelby Rogers against... Victoria Kuzmova will go Kuzmova in three in an upset. Zia Wong in three seed Maria Sakari goes Sakari in two. 12 15, 20 seed Madison Keys and Camila Giorgi will go Madison Keys in two. 2019 Allison Risk and Camila Osorio will go Risk in two. One o'clock, Darius Sneeger and Rebecca Marino are going to go Sneeger in three. Dalma Goffey and Harriet Dart. We'll go Harriet Dart in three. Anna Carolina Schmidlova and Joy Zhang. We're going to go with Schmidlova in two. 
18 team, Veronica Kunamatova and Marina Zenvesco. We're going to go with Kunamatova in two. Two o'clock, Alana Roos and 12 seed Coco Goff. We're going to go Goff in two. 415, Alexandra Krunik and 23 seed Barbora Krajikova. We're going to go Krajikova in two. Evgenia Rodina and Alja Tonjevic. We'll go Tonjevic in two. Anna Kalinskia and 17 seed Caroline Garcia. We'll go with Garcia in two. 14 seed Layla Fernandez and Ludmia Samsonova. We'll go with Fernandez in two. That's at five o'clock, seven o'clock. In primetime, Serena Williams against two seed Annette Kontovit. I'm sorry, but I think Kontovit's going to win in two. I don't think that Serena has it anymore. So this is her last hurrah. I'm sorry. I think the Contifit wins in two, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's a walkover. And nine o'clock, 15 team Beatrice Haddad Maya and Bianca Andrescu. I think Andrescu's got a shot at the upset, so I'm going to go with Andrescu in three there. All right, so now move on to my NFL Inside linebacker rankings. Um, this is an interesting number of players on this list. Um, 45. Um, there's one team that didn't have any outside linebackers because they're both listed as regular linebackers, and that's the Cincinnati Bengals. So, without further ado, here we go. Um, 45. Cody Barton, Seattle Seahawks. 44. Jermaine Prant. Cincinnati Bengals. 43, Devin Bush, Pittsburgh Steelers. 42, Kenneth Murray, Los Angeles Chargers. 41, Nicholas Morrow, Chicago Bears. 40, Foisade, Olukin, Jacksonville Jaguars. 39, Damian Wilson, Detroit Lions. 38, Alex Anzalone, Detroit Lions. 37, Ernest Jones, Los Angeles Rams. 36, Jordan Brooks, Seattle Seahawks. 35, Isaiah Simmons, Arizona Cardinals. 34, Devin White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 33, Rashawn Evans, Tennessee Titans. 32, Christian Kirksey, Houston Texans. 31, Zayvon Collins, Arizona Cardinals. 30, Eladon Roberts, Miami Dolphins. 29, Jawan Bentley, New England Patriots. 28, David Long, Tennessee Titans. 27, Quay Walker, Green Bay Packers. 26, Drake Quantrill, Los Angeles Chargers. 25, Jonas Griffith, Denver Broncos. 24, Devin Lloyd, Jacksonville Jaguars. 23, Miles Jack, Pittsburgh Steelers. 22, Cole Holcomb, Washington Commanders. 21, Blake Martinez, New York Giants. 20, Logan Wilson, Cincinnati Bengals. 19, Tremaine Edwins, Buffalo Bills. 18, Anthony Walker, Cleveland Browns. 17, Jerome Baker, Miami Dolphins. 16, Jose Jewell, Denver Broncos. 15, Devondre Campbell, Green Bay Packers. 14, Leighton Vander Esch, Dallas Cowboys. 13, Jordan Hicks, Minnesota Vikings. 12, Zach Cunningham, Tampa or Tennessee Titans. 11, Denzel Perryman, Las Vegas Raiders. 10, Nick Bolton, Kansas City Chiefs. 9, Josh Bynes, Baltimore Ravens. 8, TJ Edwards, Philadelphia Eagles. 7, CJ Mosley, New York Jets. 6, Eric Kendricks, Minnesota Vikings. Five, Fred Warner, San Francisco 49ers. Four, Levante David, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Three, Demario Davis, New Orleans Saints. Two, Shaquille Leonard, Indianapolis Colts, formerly known as Darius Leonard. But he wants to go by Shaquille now. And number one, Bobby Wagner, Los Angeles Rams. So to me, Bobby Wagner was the unequivocal number one. Um, Guys between two and four. And maybe even five, you could argue in any order. Um, Kendricks, I think, is in the right spot at six. Mosley, I think, could have a big bounce back here on the Jets this year. Um, Edwards and Vines are really super underrated guys on teams that could be Super Bowl contenders. Um, Bolton's really good for Kansas City. And then some veterans in Perryman, Cunningham, Hicks, and Vander Esch. Between 11th and 14, you could argue any order for those guys. And then Campbell coming off a career year and ends a drop-off. And then there's a lot of young guys that haven't proved anything yet or are labeled busts for now, and that's why they're so low. 
on these rankings. So there you have it, inside linebacker rankings. Tomorrow will be cornerbacks. All right, now will be time for news and notes. Um, some interesting things to talk about coming down right now that the Big 12 right talks begin with Fox and ESPN for um, the Big 12's TV rights. So that is uh, interesting news coming down. And they're trying to get a big deal done like how the Big 10 did with NBC and CBS and Fox. Um, we'll go to uh, football first. Um, Trey White will start the year on PUP as he'll miss the first four weeks of the season as he works back from his ACL injury. So um, that is not good news for the Buffalo Bills. Another player that will miss at least the first four games of the season is Dolphins corner Byron Jones after having leg surgery. That is not good news for them. Um, the Raiders cut Alex Leatherwood as Vegas tried to trade the former first-round offensive lineman. Got 32 no's. That's really sad. That just tells you that Alex Leatherwood is not good. Um, some other football news. Um, the New York football Giants cut Davis Webb as Tyrod Taylor will be the backup for Daniel Jones to start the season. Patriots cut tight ends Devin Ossier and Dalton Keene as the Patriots draft card between 2018 and 2020 looks absolutely brutal. That's why Tom Brady's not there. I'm taking that one to the house. Every time a bad Patriots from uh, move from the past several years comes up, it's like, oh, Tom Brady knew. Baseball. Um, Dodgers number 13 prospect James Outman hits for the cyclist. He does it for the second time in four games, which is really impressive. You don't see that very often. So the Mets are, or I'm sorry, the Dodgers are 45 and 10 since June 29th. Since they're the first team to 90 wins this year, um, 45 and 10 is just insane. Um. So, Brist, uh, Brewers star Christian Yelich says that uh, they won for Mark as he shouts out the fan whose Jumbotron L went viral. We got you, man, he says. Um, Harrison Bader is hitting off a tee as he's beginning a 10-day ramp-up to begin playing in minor league games. So that's good news as um, if he comes in and is amazing and is better than Aaron Hicks and better than Joey Gallo was, then the Yankees look good for trading uh, Jordan Montgomery for this guy. Like I said, I'm not a Harrison Bader fan. I think he's a fourth outfielder. But if he is better than what he showed in St. Louis, Yanks uh, deserve a pat on the back. Shane McClanahan was scratching his start against the Marlins yesterday as Sean Armstrong got the start. And then... McClanahan was diagnosed with left shoulder impigment, still pending further imaging. So that's not promising or great news for the Rays. Bad news for the Astros. Justin Verlander on the injured list with the calf injury. That's brutal. A bunch of Cy Young candidates are, are injured right now. That is just really, really bad for the game. But good news for the Dodgers is that Clayton Kershaw will return on Thursday against the Mets after missing a month. So that is good news there. Um, but Astros GM James Click says that um, Verlander's MRI gave relatively good news and hoping the aisle stint is short. Carlos Carrasco is on track for late 
um, later in the week after a successful sim game yesterday or two days ago. So that was really good. Ozzy Albee scheduled to join Triple A Gwinnett on Thursday after missing two months as he'll begin his rehab assignment. That is great news for Atlanta. They need him back. Um, the Dimebacks are picking up uh, Tori Lovello's option after what has been a disappointing year for them. So um, he'll be back. Um, back to football for a second. I forgot to mention that the Eagles acquired C.J. Gardner-Johnson from the Saints after extension talks broke down. So great trade for Philly. You can make a case they're the team to beat in the NFC East now, especially with Tyron Smith out for Dallas. Brian Robinson is back at the team's facility after successful surgery to treat two gunshot wounds, so that is really good news. And former lacrosse player Jerry Bernhardt made the Falcons' 53-man roster, so that is crazy. Um... College football news, um, San Diego State Athletic Director John David Wicker says school delayed investigating former punter Matt Areza after a request from the police. So that's interesting. I don't know why they held up on that. There's definitely more to that. Um, Jackson State head coach Deion Sanders says the team has been without water, ice, air conditioning, and toilets because... Of the city's water crisis. That is brutal. Basketball. Um, Jimmy Buss comes out and says that Russell Westbrook was their best player. I think that is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. He was their worst player last year in terms of big name stars. But let's face it, he's not a star anymore. He's past his prime. He's washed. And nobody wants to trade for him. And if the Lakers want to get rid of him, they have to attach maybe two first round picks. Which is really sad. Like, super sad. But Jeannie Buss is just out of her mind. And Darwin Ham told Russell Westbrook that he and Patrick Beverly um, will be playing together. And he's planning lineups to play them side by side. Which is insane. Like, the Lakers are just a mess. Like, why trade for Pat Beverly when you have Russell Westbrook on the roster? They hate each other. Unless they, um, um, you know, made up. So, before R.J. Barrett's extension, according to Shams, the Knicks' recent offer for Donovan Mitchell was Barrett and two unprotected first-round picks. I would not have done that. I would do two first-round picks unprotected with Julius Randle. Or two with Obi Toppin and, and Emmanuel Quickly, but not R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett is the future and the now of the New York Knicks. Like, I think this guy is going to be a star. He might be an all star this upcoming season. He's in a weak Eastern Conference, and I think that he has a lot to prove, and I'm really happy that they extended him. And Donovan Mitchell, by the way, removed the Jazz from his bio, which has um, everybody talking. Aja Wilson wins the WNBA Defensive Player of the Year as she becomes the first Aces player to ever do so. So congrats, Aja Wilson. Well-deserved. Um, so some hockey news. Um, the Pittsburgh Penguins extend Mike Sullivan to a three-year extension through the 26-27 season. Um, I think Mike Sullivan has done a marvelous job with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um... So he deserves that contract extension big time. Um, and Tage Thompson gets a contract extension. Seven years over $49 million. So well-deserved for Tage Thompson as Buffalo keeps one of their assets. All right, some news regarding uh, soccer. Um. Uh, so, um, Barcelona striker Pierre-Emerick 
all but my egg, will be a, out around three weeks after being assaulted by robbers on Monday. So he suffered a broken jaw from that. And that's not great at all. Um, and then more soccer news is that um, Chelsea is in talks with Josco Gardial. Um after submitting $90 million bid. So that is really interesting news in soccer. And um, we'll see if that um, comes to fruition or not. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. I'm going to go with Major League Soccer today because these baseball things haven't been working. I took... The San Francisco Giants straight up. But I just really want best bet to be in the right direction. Um, going forward. So um, I'm going to go to Major League Soccer for my best bet. And I'm going to take... Orlando City, plus 110 at home against the Seattle Sounders. I think that's good value. Getting a team with plus money like that as a favorite. So Orlando City, plus 110, playing a quarter unit at home against the Seattle Sounders. It's my best bet of the day. So there you have it for today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping... All the games for WNBA playoffs, Major League Soccer, and baseball can head to everything tomorrow. Um, college football starts tomorrow, officially. So week one, we have picks to get into on tomorrow's podcast as well. So that should be a lot of fun. News and notes, best bet, as well as cornerback rankings for the NFL. So I hope you guys have a great day, everyone.